My flow is off, dude. My flow is just off. The car just feels all wrong. What movie is that? I don't know. We just spent 15 minutes, 15 minutes talking about Gamescom. 15 minutes. I scrapped the entire video. Scrapped it. 90% of the conversation with games we do not care about. Okay? And that's just too long. I'm tired of dragging on on these videos, dude. You know what I mean? 15, 20 minutes of time flies. So you know what? We're going to do this. Instead of going over every single one of these games that was written down, let's just talk about the things that looked Decent, even if we're not interested, if they look decent, we can talk about it. If there's like zero interest, why are we even talking about this shit? You know what I mean? Yeah. This is just dead air. Okay. Um, so all this crap, let's skip it. Sonic Frontiers, Dune, Aw uh, Dune Awakening, Hogwarts Legacy, Hogwarts Legacy. Dude, I can't talk. Slap me in the face. Okay. Hogwarts Legacy looks okay for what it is. Except. It's Harry Potter. Harry Potter. You know what I mean? If in Elden Ring, if I had to use magic, I would have never made 50 hours. I would have I wouldn't have made 30 minutes. I don't like the whole wand concept. That's just me. If you're a Harry Potter fan, it looks like you're in for a real treat. I really mean that. It looks quality. The game looks super quality. I think it looks very good. It's just I don't I don't want to walk around as a witch tossing spells. Well, yeah, it's a, not like you got a witch hat on. Yeah, but I, I don't want to be dispensing magic out of a stick. I got you. you know? I, I feel the same way. But I feel like from what I've seen of the game, it looks like it'd be super good. If I just had any interest in Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, if you were a fan of it. Callisto Protocol. Now listen, this is my game. This is my kind of game. I got faith in the, in the developer. I'm buying it day one. Shout out to my man Vic. I appreciate you, Vic. Vic gifted me the game on PC. Um, so I'm going to buy it for Xbox so he can play it, and I'm going to buy it on PS5. I want to support this developer. I really do. I, I don't want to talk bad about it, but from what I saw, I'm a little bit concerned. Looks a little bit clunky. It's lacking the finer details. It's lacking some polish. Like in one scene, he puts his gun back, and it just like appears into his waistband. The monster transition, when it took a different shape, was super glitchy. You know what I mean? It just... The, the, the slip and slide, that's what the guy said on Twitter, slip and slide, I thought that was funny. You know, that whole section was kind of like, eh, you know, a little, little, little drawn out. Just, I don't know, man, like, and the animations are like really fast, how he's doing stuff. So like, you remember in the God of War Ragnarok trailer, Kratos walks up and he jumps down and he goes, Hoop! like, it just didn't look smooth. I'm excited for the game, but it's just like, it's, it's not smooth. Like when you jump down, boom, it should be like this. It, his is, boom. It just looks weird, and that's how some of the animations were in the Callisto Protocol. Yeah, it was kind of funny, because, um, like, it looks like there was more detail and more focus put into your character's own death animations than it was for the enemies that you're fighting. Yeah, yeah, and, like, when you ADS, it's like, it's like a blink. You know what I mean? There's not a transition. There's not a hands-up. It's just, like, like a blink. One, like, one second, you're here, and the next second, you're here. But it's like a boop! You get what I'm saying? It's yeah. just... The, the transitions aren't nice. They're sloppy. I feel like they need to be cleaned up. That being said, I'm still excited for the game. Uh, really, really, really appreciate this developer and what he's doing. I just hope you're not rushing it, Glenn. I hope you're not rushing it. Gotham Knights. Where are you at on Gotham Knights? Um, Gotham Knights, I feel like it would be good if Red Hood was... Like, Red Hood's the only character I have interest in playing in that if he didn't have the stupid stun guns. He does look the best by yeah. a mile. Yeah. I just... It's a it's a DC game. It's a hero game. You don't want to be know. killing anybody. But when know. you have that going on and then he's using <sighs> stun guns on people, it just... It takes the experience out of it. Let us just kill. How hard is it? You know what I mean? <laughs> they, they don't want to alienate the kids. You know, they want to keep it kid-friendly. I get it. Imagine this combat system, the Arkham Knight system. Like, Mad Max did it the most brutal. Arkham Knight did it the, the most seamless. Spider-Man did it fantastic, but it's just not near brutal enough. Imagine that concept. Imagine that in an open-world Blade game, where you're doing that combat system and brutally slaying vampires, and they're turning into, like, dust, you're hacking legs off and stuff like that, or a Punisher game. Dude, this combat system has... Such potential, and I think we're going to see it in Wolverine, and I, I got faith in Insomniac. I know they're a good developer. They're a bit on the soft side, so I really hope they don't screw up Wolverine. All right, so 
Um, 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 Return to Monkey Island, Atlas Fallen, Dying Light 2 Blood Ties DLC. I got, I got kind of bored of that game, so I'm not looking forward to the DLC. New Tales from the Borderlands, High on Life, Homeworld 3. Listen, High on Life, let, let me tell you something. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do this. We, we got to include it. High on Life, when, when it comes to like comedic games, like that's not why I play video games. I play games to immerse myself in the experience, have some, some good combat. High on Life looks like something that you would watch stoned. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, it just doesn't, like, like, if I'm going to watch a comedy, I want to just sit back and watch a comedy. I don't want to play yeah. a comedy. You know? And if you mute the game, what's it look like? It looks like Sesame Street. Yeah. Mute the game. So you got Sesame Street graphics with, with adult humor. I don't understand the appeal, you know, but if that's what you guys are into, that's cool. I just, no part of me wants to play that game. Hey, what about uh, Dead Island 2? We're not, did we get to that? Uh, we never did. You skipped it. Did I skip it? Yeah. Holla, go. That game, I feel like that was the game that I was the most hyped for. Um, I feel like I've heard that it's, it's a little mid, the series. It's not very good. The melee combat looks absolutely phenomenal. The game looks brutal, and the gun models look good too. So I'm really looking forward to that game. Yeah, it it looks like it's it, it's got more impact than uh, Dying Light. Yeah, I got yeah. I got really see bored. a punch through the girl's face. Yeah, crazy. I, I got bored of Dying Light too, super fast. I did too. I did too. Why P looks okay, but I don't really got too much to say on it. I gotta uh, see more. I think it has. I think it has potential. We gotta see more. Dual Sense Edge Elite. The Dual Sense Edge. Finally, PlayStation. Finally, we get an Elite controller. Okay, it's about damn time. Day one. Let's go. I'm super excited for that. I know you don't care. Let's move on. Warhammer Dark Tide. Um, the gun models look super good. I feel like the gameplay Great. looks good, and I feel Great. like the art style looks good. It looks like Gears of War in first person. It does. I feel like the game looks super good. I think it has potential. I agree. The only problem is, is how 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 many four player co op survival games are we gonna get? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I feel like this is being done to death, and I feel like it's too noisy these games. Like in the Division Two. When you're playing co-op, there's like no more than like 10, enemy, 10 enemies at a time. When they're coming at you by like the hundreds, that shit gets old for me fast. Yeah. Fast. Not not discrediting it. I'm, I'm going to play it for sure. I just don't, I don't usually last very long with those games like that. Uh, everywhere, I, I don't know, man. It looked like some Crackdown 3 gameplay with some real world gameplay with my man Lincoln Clay. Uh, dude on Twitter said that. Said it looked like Lincoln Clay. Absolutely does. I don't know enough about the game. Don't care about Killer Clowns, Scars Above, Where Winds Meet. Do we want to talk about Where Winds Meet? Where Winds Meet looks like it definitely looks like it has potential. It's like Ghost of Tsushima. That's, yeah. what, that's immediately what I saw. Though. Yeah, are you a dude or a chick? I can't even tell. Uh, I can't tell either. The graphics looked phenomenal, and the combat looks like it has potential too. It's just when it came down to the human versus human combat, I saw that he just tapped a button once and then killed like five guys. With no competition whatsoever. Yeah. So maybe uh, that's like a like a you get something like that after you've killed enough enemies. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to fight bosses though. I want to fight other humans. I know. I got you. I feel the same way. Go Simulator Three. That's right up your alley. You played Go Simulator. Don't even deny it. Yeah, years ago. You still played it. Uh, the Expanse, Telltale. You're not into those kind of games. It looks okay. Um. Looks okay. Yeah, Outlast Trials. Looks dark. I just don't know about those games where you run around with no gun. You know? Yeah. That it? So you got said? Um, I forget what that game even was. The out. You remember Outlast? It's like that horror game where you walk oh, around yeah, with no gun. Oh yeah, I did. It looked like kind of like Bioshock. That game. Yeah. Oh okay. No, no, it doesn't look like Bioshock. That's what. That's immediately what it reminded me of. Outlast Trials. Yeah. Maybe the music, like for a split second, I don't remember. But anyways, listen. Um, I feel like this video was garbage. Um, you know, there was like gaming's just this. This is a bad year. This is a bad year for games. Very bad. I, I think Elden Ring, without a doubt, is the most quality title that's come out. In 2022 uh, okay and that was a miserable experience 
So, anything outside of that, I don't know, man. I can't even remember what I've played. It's been, it's been very, very minuscule. For, for, I, I've, I've played old games. You know what I mean? This is a bad year. Saints Row. Saints Row. Are you, are you kidding me? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. This is bad. But we got some good titles coming. We got some good titles coming. Last of Us remakes on the horizon. Um, Callisto Protocol. A little concerned about demo. Looks phenomenal. Modern Warfare 2. Return to Call of Duty. I skipped Vanguard just like I said I would. Didn't buy it. All the people said I was going to buy it. Never bought it. Thank you very much. Never even played it. Um, Dead Space remake. Resident Evil 4 remake. Hey, sign me up for these remakes, man. I know these games are quality. See what I mean? All this new crap. You see what I'm talking about? Give me the remakes any day of the week. I'll pay top dollar. Close it out. Yeah, I've. It's kind of fallen off for me. Games I'm not really looking forward to them anymore. The only game I'm really looking forward to at this point is Modern Warfare 2. It's a game I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. Um. It. It really is. It's really going to depend on how the multiplayer is, whether I stick with it or not. Because Modern Warfare, the original one. Or 2019, I feel like its multiplayer is trash. It's way too campy, and it's way too, it's way too noob friendly. And I feel noob like friendly? if we, yeah, I feel like Modern Warfare 2, it it definitely has potential. All right. Well, we'll holler at you later. Later. Too long. 14 minutes.